I was speaking with uh, E-Waste Ben on uh, YouTube this morning. Well, it would have been evening for him, I assume, because I assume he's in Australia. He's got the Australian accent and a pleasant guy to talk to. And if, if you haven't watched any of his videos, I go check out his channel. He's got some very informative videos. Um, even though he's over there and I'm over here, I, I still I subscribe to his channel. And he, he's pretty good, pretty informative. But we were discussing um, credit card scanners. Uh, I, that's what I call them. He has another name for them. And I, I had him, told him that I had some different that I was thinking about doing a, a video on, but I'd put them in the back shelf because I, I just didn't think that the value was there. So I was going to save them for a rainy day. Well, it's quite rainy today, so why not? But I told him I would, you know, do a video to compare, just for comparison's sake. And mine's larger than his which doesn't always matter uh, but I took it apart to save time and you can see there's the front and it was only eight or ten screws holding it together there's the screen I haven't torn this cover off to see what kind of boards under here but anyways there it is it's not touch screen it's all push button but uh, put those aside. Here's the the boards that come out of it. Now, this is some kind of SD card reader, or, or I don't know what, maybe a cable plug there, but it's got that little piece of gold mylar on it, which I'll process that later. Then this comes off. I haven't busted this apart yet, but there's a, a ribbon cable connector there. And I'll take that apart later. But here's the main board out of it. And it, it's got some gold here. Got a few chips on this side and a few chips on this side. So, you know, it, it this one here I would depopulate. It's got some pins there. So I'll depopulate it. Then I've got this one. Uh, it's got some chips on it. But it's got these SIM card slots, which I've never seen on one of these before. And, of course, it's got the little connector there for the phone line or Cat5 cable. And one over here. And then here was the cable that connected the, the um, pin for the screen to read. But uh, I, I, I told him I would do this video and huh? as a man of my word I decided to do it and I, I'm glad I did you know this board not as impressive as the board out of his but it does it is worth taking apart and of course this is the battery on it which that'll come off and if it's a silver oxide battery it'll be processed but I don't believe it is I can't focus good enough to read it uh, but yeah, it's got different stuff on it, like his did. Some chips and my daughter's learning. And something else. This is a jumper. Pull these off of your motherboards and stick them in a bag and save them because those wires in there that connect them have gold on them and as light as they are, they're not going to make a large difference in the price if you sell your motherboards. So, pick them off and save them. I do. I've got a peanut butter jar. I, I recycle just about everything, so I use my peanut butter jars to store stuff in until it's ready to be processed. But, y'all forgive my daughter. She's in a lot of my videos picking at my stuff. Quit, honey. But, uh, anyways, that that'll do it for this video um like subscribe comment share if you have any questions comment if you want to see something different comment thank you have a good day